Hey, I am back with a new video and I'm gonna start off with the Morphe palette. This is the 35O and pick up that white shade at the corner and go ahead and just start setting my eyes with that shade. Okay, so now I'm gonna just pick up this light caramel shade and apply that right in the crease as my transition shade just like that once all the shades start going on they're nicely blended Now I'm just going to pick up this brown shade and apply that right over the transition shade that I just applied and go ahead and work that in. Um, I'm going to go a couple times in just like that I can get the color that I really want on the eyes. Um, and I'm going to go back and forth, you know, like a windshield wiper and you can do circular motions also. Just like that and make sure that it's well blended because we don't want harsh lines now i'm gonna pick up the kat von d locket concealer and put some of that on a flat brush and try and make this cut crease <laughs> this is like my second time trying a cut crease i was like praying to god it comes out so good which it kind of did, so I was happy and I'm proud of myself that I finally did a cut crease on my channel because I've been dying to do one forever. But I eventually got it. It came out really nice. Thank God. I am like praying as I apply this concealer. <laughs> now I'm going to pick up this like pinky glittery shade and I'm going to apply that right over the concealer. The concealer kind kind of helped it um, stay on and like blends out more better for me. I found it like helpful with the concealer and then the shade right over it. It came out so bomb. Then I'm going to pick up this wipe and I'm going to clean off all of that. Then I'm picking up a dark chocolate brown color and I'm going to just put it on the outer V to kind of smoke it out just a little. And I'm going to blend that out also because I don't want any harsh lines. Now here I go praying for like the second time that I get my eyeliner on point. Because we all know a wing liner, it's like so difficult. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. This is the Maybelline Falsies. I believe it's this one and then I'm gonna pick up these new Ardell Fox mink eyelashes I bought I was like yay finally new lashes <laughs> and um these are so freaking bomb now I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this oil this is the maracuja oil from Tarte this makes the skin feel so soft and hydrated. It's awesome. I definitely recommend it. Um, then I'm going to apply some primer. This is the hydrating primer because my skin has been dry lately. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply the L'Oreal foundation. This, to be honest, I did not love much. I mean, after I finished my video, I kind of saw my face kind of cracking already with the foundation I don't know what it is maybe it's not good for my type of skin but I didn't I'm not a fan of this kind of foundation I didn't really like it but I used it and I blended it out that's why I go over it with a sponge and I tried my best but it probably isn't for my type of skin so I won't be using it again. Then I'm going to pick up the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Porcelain. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight, highlight all my entire face. Like my T-zone, under my eyes, my mustache, chin, and my forehead. 
and just blend that out with the sponge. Now I'm gonna go with my favorite part, which is baking. I'm gonna pick up the air spun powder and I'm gonna go ahead and bake everywhere that I um, concealed. So as my face bakes, we're gonna go ahead and do some bronzing. This cute brush I got from Ipsy, it has unicorns all over it. I see unicorns are in lately. So I'm gonna go ahead and break, well, not break, <laughs> cut them cheeks and go ahead and bronze up my forehead. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I, I'll contour my nose, but I won't show that on camera. And that's about it for the bronzing. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off all the bake and spread it all over my face because we can't let it go to waste and then i'm gonna go ahead and pick up the same shades as i used on my eyes i'm gonna go ahead and place that under my waterline so we can smoke out the eyes make it look very nice i love a smoky eye like i'm obsessed so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner this is a black eyeliner to my waterline this is the same one I always use I've been through so many eyeliners but this is like the top favorite it is so good then I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara to the bottom of my lashes and then we're gonna go in with some blush I'm gonna get the pinkiest shade and go ahead and place that on the apple of our cheeks and then I'm going to apply some highlighter because we need to glow, baby. Oh, and don't mind my ghetto fan brush. I went and I can't find my fan brush, so I just used this. So I just, you know, I improvised. And don't mind the babes in the background. He couldn't wait till I finished. So we're going to go ahead and highlight. Then I'm going to go ahead and place the same highlighter on my brow bones. And the inner corner as well because we all need to make those highlights pop <laughs> and then I'm gonna use the same nude color I've been using on my lips this is um, from wet n wild Java I love this color it is so freaking cute and then we're just gonna go ahead and set our face with the NYX finish spray and that concludes our video. I really hope you guys loved it. Please comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. And subscribe guys. There will be more to come. Thank you.